In this presentation, we look at how to create data, a little data vector, a little data set. So there are two functions we're going to use. The first function is the concatenate function, C, which, is, which combines its argument into a vector. Also, we'll have a look at the scan function. Now, we have three data sets here, data set 1, 12, 14, 15, and so on, numeric values, data set 2, Oscar and Lulu, which are name values, character strings. Those are the names of my dogs. And we have data set tree, 13, 16, 18, and so on, another numeric data set. So first off, I'm going to look at data set one. So I'm going to call this dat one. And I'm going to use this assignment operator. This is the arrow assignment operator. It is commonly used in a lot of textbooks. Uh, 12, 14, 15, 17, and 20. And there we go, dat1. Just check that that's gone in, there we have it. Now, I'm gonna do dat2 now, and I'm gonna use the equals sign this time, as the equals assignment operator. Uh, I'm just gonna brief comment on that in a second. I'm just gonna type in the names of Oscar and Lulu. There we have it there, dat2. Oscar and Lulu. Now, uh, just a comment on the difference between the arrow sign and the equal sign. They are fulfill the same function. Historically, the arrow sign was the appropriate uh, assignment operator in R, but in more recent editions, the equal sign is equally uh, acceptable, and it is also the equal sign is used in other programming languages. But in a lot of textbooks, they still use the uh, arrow operator and a lot of our practitioners would prefer the arrow operator. <laughs> now, I'm just going to move on and have a look at dat tree. Now, this time I'm going to use the scan function instead. So, we're going to uh, use the scan function. Now, I'm going to this time we're going to use the scan function, but I'm not going to um put in any arguments. I'm going to leave the uh, um space for arguments blank. I'm just going to hit return now. What I'm going to do is type in each of the data values that we have to put in, 13, 16, 18, 22, and 29, each time I hit return. Now, it actually asks me for to enter a sixth value here, but that we've actually run out of values. So what I do this now is actually I hit return a second time. So that, um, my data has been committed. Uh, we have the five values that we require. Let's just double check that. There we have it, 13, 16, 18, 22, and 29. 